Back to you. All right, Sally, thank you very much. So Sally just told us about the snow on the mountain already, and it won't be long before winter is here. You know, the snow, if we get it, can cause big problems when it hits the ground here in Portland. So we want to know what the city is doing to get ready. Chris Woodard is live in Northeast Portland with more on that. Chris? Yeah, and there's an obstacle course set up here. If you take a look, you can see the plow trucks and some of those cones and barrels behind me. There have been drivers out here for the last few days refamiliarizing themselves with that equipment, taking the plows through that obstacle course. That just one of the ways PBOT is out here preparing for winter. Now, the last, last significant snowfall that we had was in 2014. Anyone who was here for that one is going to remember what that was like. It really shut down most of the city for a few days. Uh, with only so many snow plows, though, Portland crews can only get to so many roads. We checked. The city has 55 dump trucks that will be fitted with snow plows, so we asked if that's enough. We've learned over the years that these snow events are relatively uncommon in Portland, and so uh, it's a question of cost-benefit analysis and trying to decide how many plows is it worthwhile to have in a city that might get snow every couple of years and just for a few days. And city priorities have not changed. This has been the policy. If that snow comes, they'll focus on TriMet frequent service routes and they'll focus on major transit routes and routes that they know emergency responders use. More preparations still to come Thursday. PBOT will be inspecting their entire fleet of winter snow and ice vehicles. After that, they'll actually send the drivers out to drive the routes that they'll be on in the event of a snow, refamiliarize them with that route. Are there new curbs? Are there new speed bumps? Making sure that they're prepared. Of course, only time will tell if we get that snow and if any of this is needed, but PBOT doing what they can now to prepare. Live in Northeast Portland, Chris Woodard for Coin 6 News. All right.